What's up, Coach J Pro? Back with a new set and another round of reflex bag workouts. Let's go! Today we have all punches, everything. No sit ups, no squats, no push ups, just four rounds, 20 minutes of movement, technique, and getting into the zone with our bag. You don't need your gloves on yet. We're gonna jump into a stretch in 10 seconds. It's spacious in here. I like it. Now you could probably tell from the name of the channel, all of these workouts are designed for use of the reflex or cobra bag. But if you don't have one, you can treat it like any other boxing workout. Just shadow box the movements and follow along. We're gonna open up with a tricep stretch for 30 seconds. So I'm gonna take my left arm and I'm gonna reach as far back behind me as I can. I'm gonna use my right hand to pull back so I can really get that stretch through the tricep. Now let's switch. Okay, we're here for five seconds. All right, shake it out. Now we're gonna go to alternating leg circles for 30 seconds. We really wanna open up the hips here. If you're a returning subscriber, welcome back. Shout out to all my champs out there. I'm starting to see the same group of people continuing to chime in to stay on top of the weekly workouts. Really means a lot to me. Really exciting to see that we're growing, we're moving up. All right, now let's get into a little torso twist here, pivoting on the balls of our feet. Okay, now let's open that up. Nice reminder to always fully extend our punches anytime that we're shadow boxing. Boxing on the bag is different. You can practice from you know different distances, but anytime we're shadow boxing, now we're gonna go to a boxer bounce. But anytime you're shadow boxing, it's always good to practice nice full extension. So now we're just shifting our weight nice and light on the balls of our feet. Really activating the calves here, practicing our balance. Got a lot of room to be dancing around in here. Like it. Speaking of, for the last minute, we're gonna do a little freestyle shadow box. So just move around your space and at like 50% speed, start to chain some punches together. Anywhere from one to four at a time. I don't wanna just stand in place and go crazy. I wanna throw a couple punches and then move. And then gradually start to increase the speed as you go. If you're new, we use a punch number system. You just line up in your boxing stance with your dominant hand and foot in the back. For me, I'm a righty. That foot's gonna go out in front. Then my eyes are ahead on my target. We've got the one, that's gonna be your lead straight. The two is your rear straight coming from the back arm. Three is gonna be that lead hook. I'm pivoting my front foot there. Four is the rear hook. Five, lead uppercut. And six, rear uppercut. Everything back to the chin and just have fun with it. If it all feels weird and crazy, it should. It's gonna feel more natural as you go. Now grab a quick sip of water. If you've got a bag, throw those gloves on. We jump into round one in one minute. All right, getting ready for round one. Now, if you're curious about the history, spent almost a decade working in the tech scene here in New York as a sales manager, managing hundreds of employees, leading record-breaking sales teams, having the time of my life. And then COVID hit and we're all spending a lot of time at home. I decided to kind of rededicate myself to boxing training. I've been boxing since college. So I got a heavy bag and was getting back into my boxing workouts, but the heavy bag was super problematic. The noise, had issues with neighbors, had issues with an ex-girlfriend who didn't like the noise, understandably so, and I discovered the reflex bag, which changed my life forever. Because not only was it a great solution to the noise and the space, but 
it was just that much more fun and also challenging to advance my training. So I became an amateur boxer and now I've been a boxing trainer for almost a year. And here we go. We're gonna go right into the flow. One, two, for 30 seconds. This is our light, sustainable yeah. pace. I'm just tapping my bag with the one, two, right back to the chin. One way or the other. Yeah. So I've been a boxing trainer for almost a year now, but really excited about this channel. Putting out free workouts every week. And the niche that I want to carve out is boxing for wellness. Okay, now 30 seconds, we're gonna go at a combination pace. We're just gonna work a one, one. So, if you want a more challenging experience, you wanna move all around your bag and come in at different angles. If you're new and you're getting your timing and your rhythm down, it's easier to just be planted and throw your one, one. So whatever timing and speed you prefer. Okay, now we're gonna move over to a one, two. See, I kind of learned that in New York City, where I'm based, if you wanna get into boxing or boxing training, there's really only one of two options. 15 seconds here. You can go to an old school boxing gym, like Gleason's in Brooklyn, where you're gonna spar, and people are gonna talk about street fighting. All right, we're gonna take a break and go to a boxer bounce for 30 seconds, a little active recovery. You go to one of these old school gritty boxing gyms, they're gonna throw you in the ring, beat people up, get beat up, hear people's street fighting stories. Or option number two is you go to a place like Rumble, they turn off the lights and you kind of go crazy, take some cool pictures for Instagram, and you're not really learning a lot of technique. Now for the last minute of the round, we're just gonna work a five, six, five, six. So nice and close with our uppercuts here. Ish, 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 ish. Start nice and easy, and then build your power up as you go. And so they're just kind of two different options. The nitty gritty old school boxing, ish, 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 ish or a place like Rumble, where you're not really getting any technique. And so I saw this opportunity to create this niche to be kind of in the middle. We're gonna teach real boxing technique, but less about the violence of wanting to get into a street fight, and a little bit more about your own, five seconds here, your own personal growth. Your own personal happiness. One more. And time. Grab a quick sip of water and we jump into round two in one minute. And really, so what my goal is with all this is I wanna get as many people to experience the amazing benefits of boxing as possible. Maybe people who thought they would never ever put boxing gloves on because they're not a fighter. I wanna look at it through a different lens anyone can use boxing as a vehicle for growth. And you know, one thing I learned about myself through the whole process of my career and kind of reflecting on it is as much as I love sales and selling millions of dollars in revenue and making big commission checks and partying with my sales team, what I love even more than that is helping people, helping people build confidence to feel inspired, to take down their goals, to figure out what it is that's gonna help them be the very best version of themselves. And my strengths is doing that as a sales leader apply to boxing training. It's just a different vehicle. So that's what boxing for wellness is all about. And now we're gonna get back into this workout with another flow one, two for 30 seconds. And so every time I get a comment, every time I see someone new has joined this channel and they're getting into these workouts, it's just validation of this hard work and this change. And that this niche, this boxing for wellness and reflex bag workouts can be a reality. So now we're gonna go to a one, two, one, two combination pace. 
Now again, I wanna move. If I wanna challenge, I can move all around my bag or I can be planted. Everything back to the chin. Okay, step out for a sec, shake it out. Now we're gonna go to a one, 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 two. That's a one, 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 two. We're mixing up our timing and our pace here. Man, I'm sweating. For an all punches workout. One more. Good, back to that boxer bounce. A little active recovery here. You know, we know it's great to mix in sit-ups and push-ups, but there's something about just being free and getting into that zone with your bag. And that feeling, that satisfaction, of slowly making progress and understanding that bag, because it's a tricky little, uh, little thing to figure out. All right. Last minute here, we're gonna go into a freestyle focused on straight punches and slips. So you throw whatever you want. Remember the slip, you're just taking your head right off the center line. So. You go at whatever pace or intensity feels right to you. Some workouts, when it's cardio day, I'm really gonna tell you to go all out, 150%. But it's not realistic to go 150% for every workout. Sometimes your body needs a rest. Sometimes we wanna move a little bit, still get a workout. Time. Sorry, it's one of those days I'm just rambling over here. Nice work, we're halfway through. We go into the second half in one minute. All right, well, if you're still listening to me, that means that you're in it for the long haul and we're going into the championship rounds. Last two rounds of work, nothing but punches. We're gonna finish strong as always. And by the way, as much as I love yapping about my journey, and my passion for boxing, and where I see this channel going, I really love even more than that, hearing from you all. I love hearing about your goals, what you're working for. I really wanna know. I wanna know what it is about this journey that you love and how I can help you better. Some of us might be boxing for weight loss. Some of us might be wanting to put on some muscle and build strength. Some of us might wanna learn real boxing technique and self-defense, whatever your goals are. I wanna hear from you, comment, let me know, and I will do whatever else I can to help that journey. I'm doing, uh, we've got a lot more content on the way beyond just the workouts. I'll tell you that. So now we're gonna open up with a flow, five, six, for 30 seconds here. Nice and light, nice and controlled. Just tapping that bag, building the speed as we go. Good, 15 seconds here. You go at the speed that's right for you. If you're a subscriber, you've probably heard me say that before. All right, let's step out and let's continue to work on that nice, sharp one, two. If you want a challenge, footwork. Coming in at different angles, throwing off the timing. A lot of it, I want to throw unexpected where my opponent doesn't see it coming. Oh yeah, I love real boxing too, not just boxing for wellness. Don't get it twisted. All right, here we go. Now we're gonna go to a one, two, five, six. Five, six. So nice and slow as we get that timing down. Sometimes it helps to do one punch at a time. Nice and slow. They don't all need to be bombs. One, two, five, six. When you're throwing combinations, it's the last one that's the power shot. So it should 
look like that. Pa, 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 pa. Good, we're gonna stay with this one, two, five, six for 30 seconds. So those first three are the setup and that last shot is the power shot. A lot of times I'll also change my breathing on the power shot. It's just a habit, but I also need more air. I also need more air. Just get in that zone, let's go. All right, now we're gonna go to the Ollie shuffle. Float like a butterfly. Sting like a bee. The universe is telling me. And we're gonna get this boxing down to the T. Used to be a freestyle rapper in a past life too. Bet you didn't know that. Okay, last 30 seconds. We're just gonna work that jab. Nice and fast now. See that Ali jab. Mayweather calls it the whip. Work on your whip here. 10 seconds. Canelo has an invisible jab. You don't see it coming. And time. Awesome work. We're going to the fourth and final round in one minute. Grab a sip of water because it's going down. All right, going into the fourth and final round. First of all, shout out to Kevin, who's early member of Team J Pro Jabs, is a new dad. So congratulations, Kevin. Love to see you doing these workouts every week. Talk about exciting journeys. That's probably as, as exciting as it gets. So congrats again on being a new dad. And for the rest of us, let's finish strong. We're gonna have some fun in round four. We're gonna mix it up. We're gonna throw a lot of the jab. We're gonna keep working that lightning fast jab. And then, uh, well, maybe I'll just surprise you at the end. As always, please continue to like and comment on the workouts. It makes a huge difference in helping me to grow this channel, to grow this brand, to continue to fuel the fire, to get up every day and put these workouts together. This is the easy part. It's the editing that's never that fun. <laughs> all right, so now we're gonna go to a flow with all six punches. So this is gonna be a little tricky. I think it's easiest to sit right in place as we would for any other flow. Nice and soft. We're flowing with all six punches. This is the speed that we want to go at to maintain control here. Okay, now we're going to go to a one slip lead, one, one. That's a one slip, one, one. All right, now we're gonna switch it up. We're gonna go one, slip rear, two, two. Nice, five seconds here. All right, last 30 seconds of active recovery. We're back in that box with bounce. Nice and light on the balls of our feet. Transferring that weight, really engaging the calves. As you do these workouts, continue to think more about what your signature style is. Even if you're not a pro fighter or training to be in the ring, it's fun to think about what are your unique strengths as a boxer, as an athlete, as a fitness lover. Okay, last minute, we're gonna go into some call outs. So you can stay bouncing, you can move, whatever your preference is, you're gonna punch as I call it out. One, 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 two, two, one, two, one, two. 
Good. Five. Five. Uh oh. That mind body's coming. Five. Three. Two. One, two. One, two, one, two. Nice. 20 seconds. Two. One slip lead, one, one. One slip rear, two, two. Woo. 10 seconds. Five, six, five. Three. Six. One, two. One, two, one, two. And time. Woo. What is more satisfying or refreshing than that? I don't know. But nice work. That's the first workout in the new studio. Shout out to Fierce Reflex for making it happen. Big things coming this year. Nice work getting through this workout. Hope you have an amazing rest of your day or night. Don't forget to stretch, drink a lot of water, and I'll see you real soon for another Reflex Bag Workout.